Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Temptress and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're going to be talking about another Sky Factory 4 tutorial and that is wind power. Now of course this will work on any uh, mod pack or whatever that you use uh, mechanism in, but the recipes may be different. So this is specific one to Sky Factory 4. Now the nice thing versus the solar panels that we did last time is wind power generates day and night. So let's see how we're going to set up this awesome setup. So first of all, we're going to need some steel. So to do that, you need pulverized coal and pulverized iron. If you don't know how to pulverize, well, I might have to do one later. Or just ask it in the questions. I answer all of them. All right. Now with that steel, we're, we're just going to take it and cook it. And with the steel, we're going to wrap it around an enriched alloy to give us a turbine blade. Well, how do we get the enriched alloy? I have four metallurgic infusers set up. So for the enriched alloy, you're going to have redstone in here that'll fill this up and iron. Each one iron will create an enriched alloy. Now let's go to the next one because we're going to also need basic control circuits. So for this one, we're going to keep using redstone, but we're going to use osmium and that's going to create our basic control circuits. Now for the next one, we're going to put diamond on the side and you can do the crushed diamond or you can do the compressed diamond. That part doesn't matter. You just need diamond. And then we're going to put those enriched alloys in here and that's going to give us the reinforced alloys. And for this one, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. And then for the reinforced, uh, we're going to take the reinforced alloy and put it in with uh, um, obsidian over here. And it can be the obsidian dust or the compressed obsidian. And that's going to give us our atomic alloy. Now, then we're going to go over here. Then to make our advanced circuits, we're going to take one of the basics with two enriched on either side. And that's going to make our advanced control circuit. Then we're going to take two of the reinforced with an advanced in the middle, and that'll give us our elite control circuit. Next, we're going to take two of the atomic ones with one of the elites in the middle, and that'll give us our ultimate control circuit. And that is what we're going to need to create these. Now, next we're going to need um, to build the wind turbines, and these are the pieces for it. So in the middle you need osmium ingots, all four corners, the steel ingots, and then glass in the cross pattern. And that'll give us our steel casing. Then we're going to take our steel casing with the energy tablets, and uh, we went over that in a previous video, so if you need to, uh, hit me up and I'll let you know where that is. Um, with four redstone on the outside, and that'll give us our basic energy cube. Now from there, we want to take the basic energy cube with two more energy tablets, two osmium ingots, and four of the enrichment alloys, and that'll give us the advanced energy cubes. Next, we're going to take the turbine blade, the advanced energy cube, the ultimate control circuit, and four osmium ingots. And each one of those will make us one wind generator. Ta-da! So I have uh, four of these set up on each row. And I have four rows. And you can look here after you set up, these need a large space. Uh, they do take up quite a bit of space. I usually recommend setting them down at least in a 4x4 area. And you don't want them too close together. And it looks like they're touching here, but that's actually okay with the blades. Alright, so you can look here and check your power output. You can also change it down here to what you want it to be. So if you need a different power source. All right, now I don't have these all connected yet because I wanted to show you. I just have them connected with the uh, um, Signalum Platum. Uh, uh, did, I, did I do the wrong ones? Signalum Platum. We don't have to do the impulse. It just has to be the Signalum uh, Plated, not the vacuum. You can do the regular signal and play them. Anyway, they just have to be item, item, uh, not item, energy ones. All right. So in here, now we are powering our energy cube here. 
And again, we can change the power output on here to whatever power output we need. Um, like we're gonna need RF, so. And then it'll just tell you how much you have here. And of course you can do just like what we did over here with the solar panels and you could take and uh, put your energy extraction cable into your energy transfer node and have it automatically going to whatever you need powered. And this is, I know it looks like a large setup, but a lot of people set up much, much more what I did here. Of course, you can do as many as you want, but this is as easy as it gets. This is wind power. Oh, watch me while I fall off. And um, so I built, as you can see, at 244. But your build height, uh, you're going to want to pay attention to how much RF per tick you have. So when I set these up, it said I had maximum. Because right now max output is 192. Mm, and max output is... Max is 192 RF per tick. So yes, it is. I was thinking of, um, yeah, 480 jolts per tick. And I prefer it on RF, so. That is max power. You can set it up as fast as you want, but let's take a look here. And if you're flying, you can see I can fly through here. Sometimes we'll get stuck for a minute, but it is possible. And look how fast it's filling up our energy cube. This is the ultimate one, so woo woo. So here is all you need for your power. Uh, so I think I've done the power choices um, up until now. So far, if you have missed any of them, um, I have done lava power, solar power, and now wind power. So if you missed any of those and you need them, check them out. But that's it for today. Have, as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Because I'm doing lots of videos and I have lots more planned. Anyway, till next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye!